What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will install a headlight warning buzzer, cheap and easy, in a Jeep CJ, so you will hear a warning buzzer if you accidentally leave the headlights on with the vehicle turned off. So, you're going somewhere, early in the morning, and it's dark out. So, you turn on the headlights, and you go on your way, traveling to your important destination. And when you arrive at your destination, it's light out. You get out and go about your business, but forget about the headlights and accidentally leave them on. And when you come back later, your battery is dead and you're stuck. I've done this more than once, and it's no fun. If only there was a warning buzzer to remind you that your headlights are still on when you turn the vehicle off. Introducing the Piezo Buzzer, and they're cheap. Here's two of them for $7. This is a small buzzer, activated by 3 to 24 volts DC, and it has two wires, a positive and a negative. It is polarity sensitive. The red wire must be connected to a positive, and the black wire to a negative, and it sounds like this. And it will not work if the polarity is reversed, with the black wire connected to positive and the red wire connected to negative. It does not buzz. Now, let's go to the fuse box where all of the action will be. First, we need to connect the positive lead to a fuse that only has voltage when the headlights are on. That's this fuse. It has no voltage when the lights are off. But when the parking lights are on, or when the headlights are on, it has voltage. And again, when the lights are turned off, it has no voltage. And this fuse is connected to the dimmer. The voltage will decrease as you turn the dimmer down, so leave it on. To connect the positive wire to this fuse, for this video, I just bent the lead over the fuse leg and pushed it back into the fuse box. But there are cleaner ways to do it. You can use a fuse tap. There are a few different kinds. Next, we need to connect the negative lead to a fuse that is only grounded when the key is off. That's this fuse. When the key is on, it has 12 volts and it is not a ground. When the key is off, there is no voltage and it turns into a ground. To show this, this fuse always has power. And with the key still off, the ignition fuse is now a ground and completes the circuit. To connect the negative wire to the fuse, again, for this video, I just bent the lead over the fuse leg. But I can barely fit my hands down there, and to help hold the wire in place, you could use a little piece of tape. Then push the fuse back into the fuse box. Now this little buzzer is dangling around, but you can use the two mounting holes in it to mount it somewhere. And now, with the ignition on and the parking lights or headlights on, everything is normal. There is no buzzer. But with the ignition off, there's a headlight warning buzzer. And it turns off when you turn the headlights off. Now, this worked great when I originally did it about 10 years ago and had stock lights and was driving it on dark mornings regularly. Since then, I've converted everything to LED bulbs and the last time I used the headlights was probably eight years ago, and now the buzzer is much more quiet. I'm honestly not sure if it's related to the LED conversion, but that's the major change that has taken place. So, from my personal experience, this should work well if you have stock bulbs, and may or may not work well if you have LED bulbs. Let me know how it goes in the comments. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.